Shut-in procedures vary according to the type of rig we're working on and whether we're drilling or tripping when the kick occurs. Their applicability depends on whether exposed formations are strong enough to handle the anticipated shut-in pressures. If shut-in pressures exceed the fracture pressure of the weakest open hole interval, an underground blowout could result. If we can't safely shut in flow from the formation, we have to divert it. Operators frequently use diverter systems when drilling surface hole due to the low fracture pressures they often encounter below shallow casing seats. Rather than shutting in the well and building up pressure, the diverter directs flow away from the rig. Assuming we do shut in the well, we have to record three items of information. Shut in drill pipe pressure, shut in casing pressure, and pit volume gain. We use this information to calculate our mud weight requirements, design our kill procedure, and determine the type of kick fluid. If the well kicks while the drill string is off bottom, do not, under any circumstances, try to run it back to bottom with the annular preventer open and the well flowing. Instead, follow established stripping procedures or bring in a snubbing unit.